Hey everybody, today I wanted to do uh, my epic winter review of my Ever After High dolls. This is part two. So I had previously gotten Blondie and Briar and Ashlyn, but I noticed that the two pack of Rosabella and Daring uh, were available on Amazon at a good price, and then finally Crystal Winter showed up. So I snagged them all, and I had some differing opinions of them that I'd love to discuss with you and see what you think. Uh, and I thought it was worth another video. So let me, I'm gonna start with Crystal because she's the one I'm most excited about. So this is a new character. I believe she is the daughter of the Snow Queen. And her first release doll was with the Epic Winter series. She is, as a doll, quite stunning. Um, beautiful face. Her hair is incredibly soft. And let me show you the back hair. It is kind of an icy blue with purple streaks. She is a lovely, lovely doll. I will tell you that in the promo photos that I saw of her, they made it seem like her face had kind of a shimmer to it, kind of like how you see in some Monster High dolls. And I'm a little bit disappointed that she doesn't have that. She just has this kind of lavender tint skin. She is very, very beautiful though, so it makes up for it. Her outfit has the faux fur collar on her dress. And on her skirt, she's got this kind of crinkly, looks like, you know, Elsa from Frozen um, over her little skirt. And the skirt is quite lovely. It's got these little snowflakes on it. So she's very, very pretty. And then underneath, she has the, I think what people are calling the, the weird disease, the weird stocking disease, because she doesn't actually have stockings on. She has just colored legs, um, which makes it a little difficult if you did want to change her into anything else. And then her boots, okay, her boots are fabulous. They are white, but they kind of have this strange iridescent color to them, which you probably can't see on camera, but they are very, very cool. Another thing that is a little bit disappointing about uh, Crystal here is, though she do does come with this little card, and she comes with this scepter, which is kind of neat. Oh, and my ring, my fabulous ring I'm wearing. She doesn't come with a stand, you guys. Like, this is the first release of this doll, and she doesn't have a stand or a comb. I mean, girlfriend needs to brush her hair, and she can't because she didn't come with a comb. So that was a little disappointed. All right, so let me get to Rosabella and Daring here. So this two-pack was very, very surprising um, for a couple reasons. First of all, the dolls themselves are cool. They, they look really fabulous in the box. And then you start to realize a couple of things. First of all, I didn't know these two were dating. He's like a player, isn't he? I feel like he's been on a date with everybody. All right, so let's talk about Rosabella first. This doll in itself is one of my favorites. I love a girl with glasses. So I'm glad that uh, this release comes with glasses. She's got her little tiara. Her glasses are clear, which is kind of neat. And then she also came with this fun little, um, she has fun accessories like the necklace, little armband, her cool belt. And then her little one-piece dress uh, has the little faux fur trim. And then again, she has the, the colored legs, which are a little strange. But then her boots are just beautiful. Love what they did with the roses. And she also comes with this little card, but again, no stand and no comb. I like the little brushes, I collect them. All right, Daring, it's time we had this chat. <laughs> I've been so excited about the first Daring Charming doll. He's just such a fun character in the series and you're always hoping that underneath that kind of snotty uh, exterior, there's a kind of decent person underneath. And you can see his character in the, the webisodes, um, you know, really kind of growing. So when you finally get him as a doll, First of all, he has molded hair. And he looks like, to me, seriously, the Ken doll from 1987, like Malibu Ken. He has Malibu Ken hair, you guys. Mattel, you could do better than that. So it's a little sad that he's got that weird molded hair. His face, spot on. I think that this doll's face is really cool. He's very handsome. 
His jacket, also super cool. Because it's epic winter, I think he has this faux fur collar. I would have loved just the traditional, um, you know, varsity jacket. It's also one, it's one layer. So he doesn't have a shirt underneath. This little piece here is just sewn on the bottom. And then let's just get down to it, people. Okay, these pants are not pants. They are plastic. He has no pants. They are just sprayed on. It is the weirdest thing ever. And if you're shy, turn away because I got to show you the back of these. Okay. It looks like he has like underwear over his pants. What the heck? I mean, thank goodness this sort of, I mean, what? Is he wearing leggings? What's happening? Daring, you're driving me crazy. Um, and then to make matters worse, you can't take his shoes off. Okay. I mean, it was like somebody fell asleep about here when they were designing him. Okay, and here too. Um, this is, there's just a lot going on here that is just one, comical, but also super disappointing. And I'm sorry, but Rosabella is beautiful and she would not date a guy who wears underwear <laughs> over his jeans. Okay, the vent is over. I will tell you that I'm super happy that there is a daring in existence, right? Because it bodes well like for future releases when um, the fans finally get a real daring with real legs. <laughs> anyway, if you have any questions or opinions, I want to hear your opinions about the Ever After High, Epic Winter, 2-Pack, about Crystal Winter, about any of the dolls, really. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks.